So this will actually be the adjustment today. So okay, just sure. share with me what you were experiencing from the first, the first day you came in here and where you're at now and what, what's happening, what you said specifically today. Um, so let's see. Well, when I first came in, it was because um, obviously of pain. Right. And it would typically start when I woke up, uh, I'd be experiencing uh, pain in this leg. leg, yeah, down the leg, and things like, you know, putting on my shoes and things like that. I mean, I could do it, but it was painful when I went down to do that. Um, then I'd get in the car, and it got even more painful when I sat down. Okay. Um, and it would ease up throughout the day, and then when I'd go home and sit on the couch, watch some TV with family, and then it started up again. So by the time I got to bed, um, I'd have to put a heating pad on or do something to get comfortable. And then, so that was just like a pattern of, you know, pain. Right. Um, since coming here, um, I really don't experience the amount of pain. I, it's much less. I mean, it was, I mean, it's much less. But you're getting still up. getting it when you sit. Yeah, yeah, when I sit. That's, for how long uh, are you well, sitting before it starts coming? Um, it's again. weird. It's like I'll sit at my desk and I'm not experiencing the pain, but when I go to get up, then, it's, it's, up. then it starts to... It's a real strange So pay thing. attention to how long you're sitting. Yeah. That's a key yeah. thing because sitting is the worst posture for our spine and our body. And so look at the tip videos and then when you can change that, let's say you're sitting for an hour, just take okay. a couple minutes on one of the tips, I can't remember, it's three or four, and you scroll through some things that you can do for your lower back, for your neck, it changes that. Okay. It's from sitting in that isolated spot, it starts locking up in that S. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm sure that's what's going on. Face down for me. <laughs> so we're going to share with you Diane's uh, adjustment today. Um, she agreed that she wouldn't mind sharing with you what's going on. So SA problem, SA problem with leg pain. So she's got you know multiple uh, areas or multiple complaints. So right leg is about a half inch short. So we've gotten quite a bit of change. Do you feel the difference so in how the right leg is moving further than the left? Yeah. So a lot of a lot of the times that's a misalignment in the sacrum area. I'm gonna help bring that to the side. So you might and both legs are even now. Do you feel the difference there? Yeah. I so do. you're a leg crosser quite a bit. So let's yep, just pay, <laughs> pay attention to that and reduce that throughout the day. So I'm gonna bring the sacrum over. Is it right over left or left over right more common? Right over left. Okay. Doesn't mean you can't do it. It's just for long duration and feel the difference yeah, just in that one yeah, adjustment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can totally, oh my gosh, I can totally feel the difference. So now cool. I'm gonna address the pelvis. And so when there's alignment into the pelvic area and the sacrum, the hamstrings and the quads right through here will relax a lot more. I mean, the number one thing that we'll see in low back pain, tight hamstrings. And so I encourage uh, Diane to people to stretch her hamstrings. There's many different ways to do that. Hers are a little bit tighter on the outer portion and along the band right here. Uh, you can use a foam roller, you can use one of those high density uh, balls that you can use. You can use a tennis ball, throw them in the sock. All right, I want you to lay on this side for me, face me this direction. And bend the top leg right here, good. And I'm gonna bring this arm out. Placing my hand low on the pelvis. Did you feel the movement yeah. there? Face down for yeah. what? Do you feel it more on the right or left SI joint? Um, that's a good question. It's down your right leg mostly, isn't it? Right. Okay. Feel the difference in your motion there yeah. just as soon as I did that. Raise this leg, don't bend the knee though. And back down, try the other one. Good, back down. Lay on this hip, face me this way. We'll bend the top knee and the other one stays straight. I'll bring this arm out right here. 
Uh, face <laughs> that down. That didn't take much, did it? No, <laughs> because I did all the other ones yep. already. So yep. then the body starts relaxing and going more into what we call more ease or relaxation. I like to do a little bit of traction into the lower back to stretch that area, open up the joints in the lower spine. Also helps hydrate the disc. It is a flexion distraction. It's a technique that I like to practice. Some chiropractors choose that as uh, elective or one of the things they bring in the office. Others do different forms of types of traction or decompression. All beneficial. You're gonna feel my hand right by your arm here. And because she has most of the pain on her right side, we're going to work on the right muscle or right quadratus lumbar muscle right through here. Probably is that pretty tender? Yeah. Tolerable though. Yes. Going along the pelvic muscles here, doing some pressure points. Is that too much on you? No. I'm on the piriformis muscle. Oh, yeah. That one's a tender one. Yeah. I'll works. back off a little bit. Okay. I don't know that you should though, because that's the source of all <laughs> that the was pain. The you know, okay. part of it's like, oh gosh. So you really one to ten? What would you rate that one as when I found that? Oh, I'd say like a seven. One to ten as I'm doing it right now. I'd say that right there is a seven. Okay. Too much or tolerable? Tolerable. Big breath in. Release it out. I have a feeling that's the source of my issue right there. slowly off that pressure point. I'm going to trace it down. Here's the attachment. Yep. Here and here. It's called the piriformis muscle. It actually has a nerve go right through it. So if you're feeling that pain down the leg, especially from uh, the right glute area, you'll feel it right from around that point. It'll usually yeah, do surprisingly, right in here. Surprisingly, I'm not, now normally when you touch that, I would, but I'm not feeling it today. Well, that's, you definitely have made improvement. That's why we're still on it yet. Is that too hard? Nope. On you? Good. Okay, go ahead and lay it on your back for me. Yeah, that's interesting. I normally, when you touch there, I would feel it a little bit, but. Hmm. It's been down though, since we've been working on it? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Check the knee, and I like to check the foot as well. I like to see how the mechanics are working through the, not only the pelvis, but then we'll check into the hip, the knee, and the foot and ankle. A little bit of release there too. Good job. Yeah, I, yeah, I felt that today. Had the air conditioning on in the car? No. Nope. No. Nope. Okay, I'm going to check the hip. So a lot of times a chiropractor will feel for the area of restriction. We'll look at what the posture is. Look at the alignment, you know, of the feet, how the feet are sitting, as well as the knees and the hips, and then you start to feel for the restriction or loss of motion in, in that particular area. So, how do you feel with what we did today? Pretty good? Good. Yeah, real good today. Good. Actually. Awesome. I'm Dr. David Warwick, your local Lacey Olympia chiropractor. Thank you for watching.